let's do this really fun activity together. And all you need is a little balloon. And you can also use a little piece of foil or some parchment or wax paper. Let's do it together. Come on. Here's another fun activity you can do. And all you need is a balloon and some paint. And we're just gonna go dip, dip, stamp, stamp. Ooh. Let's do some orange. Boop. Boop. How about some pink? Boop. 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 Oh, that's mixing some colors. That's really cute. Something else you can do is if you have some parchment paper, you can crinkle it up, crinkle it up. And you can use that as your little stamper. Here and here and here. And you can also use some foil. Oh, it's so crinkly, crinkly. And we can draw little stems to make this a beautiful bouquet of flowers. Here we go, we can put it in a beautiful, oh, how about we do a blue vase. What a beautiful picture we made. Great work. There you go. And then stamp it on and go pop. There you go. You do more of them. And then you can do a different color too. And then add them all together orange. all around. Orange. Okay, go ahead. Ooh, slipped. Slipped it up. Not too hard. You kind of want to just gently press it on. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. And then stop that balloon and okay. then go. There you go. And you can put it all around, all around. Ooh! I'm putting it in the wood. Okay. Here's another fun activity you can play at home with your puzzle. It's called hide and seek. It's fun to play hide and seek with people where you go find a spot, hide, and then somebody comes and finds you. They're seeking you. And you can also play it with your toys where you take puzzle pieces and we'll kind of set them in different areas. And they're gonna be hiding, hiding. Go, baby. I'll put you over here and we'll hide the animals. Then maybe we'll come back and try to find them. Here we go. And you can play it on shelves and hide the animals or the puzzle pieces on the shelf. You can also hide them in your couch and play hide and seek with your toys. Okay, so I'll leave this here and then we'll have baby come and find them. Hello, hello, I'm ready to play. Okay, all of the pieces are hiding, and so now let's go find them. Hmm. Oh, oh, I found an alligator. Let's put him back in. All right, let's see who else is hiding. Oh, I see a hippo right over here. Let's put it back in. And stomp, stomp, stomp. Oh look, an elephant was hiding behind there. Let's put the elephant back in. All right, let's see who else we can find. Hmm, do you see anybody? What about down here? Here's a zebra we found. Let's put the zebra back in the puzzle. In. All right, who else is hiding, hiding? Oh, check this basket. Oh wow, a rhino. Let's put the rhino in. Here we go. Let's see, I'm looking for somebody with a long neck. <gasps> Here it is, here's a giraffe. Let's put giraffe back in the puzzle. Looks like we've got two pieces left, a lion and an ostrich. Let's check this basket. Oh wow, we found the lion. Let's put lion in. And we've got one piece left. Hmm, let's 
see where we can look. Let's turn this puzzle. <gasps> An ostrich was hiding in there. Let's put ostrich back in. Do you see other puzzle pieces? I found a giraffe. Yahoo! Stomp, stomp, stomp. You found it. Find the spot in the puzzle. Good job. You're a good helper and a great friend. I found you. Well, this is the ship. <laughs> Let's do a fun paint activity and all you need is some marbles or balls and then some paint in a pan. We're gonna roll them around and paint. It's gonna be so much fun, come on. Here's a fun activity you can do with some paint and some little balls or marbles. First, let's add some paint in here. I'll do pink. Now, we'll place a little marble in each. Roll it, roll it, roll it all around. We'll even add more marbles. And now we'll just let them roll and make their own cool painting. Wow, when I tilt it this way, they all go down this way. Wow. How fun. Yeah. You do the yellow one? Yeah. You, you just do all them but be sure to like ketchup. Ketchup circle. Is that good? Yeah. I'm gonna sit this way. <laughs> There's two of them. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. This Sweet. is gonna be kind of a silly one because look, you can do a few different things. You can put these marble balls in and then roll them around in the paint and then they're gonna paint. Or you can also use this, this little kind of bead string. You want to get a bead string. And then you can twirl it, twirl it, twirl it. This one. If you want, we can paint on this poster paper with it. Stamp it, stamp it, and then roll them around. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. That one got away. Where are you going, little pain ball? <laughs> yeah, where are you even going? You wanna do a little hand stamp right here? <laughs> Good work. Here's another fun activity you can do with some paints. I got a big piece of paper so we don't get messy and a squeegee. Or you can use a piece of cardboard for the little scraping and we'll make our rainbow together. Let's do it. Let's make our rainbow. I've got red, orange, yellow, green, blue, These are dark blue for indigo. And I didn't have purple, but we'll use this as a rainbow. And then we'll scrape this along. You ready? Here we go. Whoa. Oh, I got stuck. Here we go. Look at our beautiful rainbow we made. Aw. That's beautiful. Thank you for painting with me. You can also use the paint in the squeegee just to make fun art. And you can do a little 
dots on a canvas, lines, with different colors. So we'll do red, do some blue, and yellow. together. How cool! Thank you for painting with me. Here's another fun activity you can do at home and make your own grocery bag that you can take to the grocery store or the farmer's market and you just need a little bag and then you can do stickers or cut these out and then decorate your bag with fruits and vegetables. Let's see, we'll use a watermelon, a carrot, an avocado, and how about a tomato, a plum, and a banana. That's going to be very cute. Let's make it together. You can use stickers, like I said, or get these little stickies that you can put onto your fruit and vegetables and then stick it on to your bag. Here we go. Let's add a few more. Now you can you have your own grocery bag that you can take to the store with you and you can decorate it however you like. I hope you have fun. I'm the princess. Yeah. Here and then with this part. Can we get it? Yeah. There you go. And you can stick it to the bag. Very cute. Okay. I didn't put an egg on there, but I think yours would be very cute with an egg. Is it gonna sticky? Yeah. Here you go. Drink. Cute. What you else? Just, you just do it. Okay, how about a broccoli? Yeah. Yeah? Alright. Here's a, another fun activity you can do to practice your scissor cutting skills and chit chat about haircuts. We made some friends out of our Legos. And then we're gonna use the yarn to cut into some hair that we're gonna lock in place using the Legos. And then we can use the scissors to cut them. And then I thought we can use the, like the bathtub as the little shampoo bowl where they can go wash, wash their hair, rinse, rinse, rinse. Ready for haircuts. Oh, we might need the blow dryer too. Let me know the blow dryer. Let's get the blow dryer. Then I'm just gonna do the blow dryer. All right, you have your scissors. I need your help. All right, first I need you to make a cut right here. Got this part? Cut. Cut right here. Do you think these are pretty long? Okay, ready? Put them in. That's gonna be our cute hair. We'll lock it in place. This friend says, hello, are you a hairstylist? Yeah. I need my hair washed, dried, and cut. Will you help me? Yeah. Now put your whole self in. 
I'm washing his 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 bed so we so clean. I'm in. Psh, 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 rinse your hair. Psh, 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 psh. I think you're ready for the hair dryer. I'm gonna just turn this. Hold it yeah. and smoothen it out with a Smooth it out with a hair dryer. I love that idea. Here's a ring to laminate. Oh, wow. And I'm going to use this one also that Let's one. smooth it out. Yeah, look at all this hair you cut off. What about on this side? Should we cut trim here too? Yeah. <gasps> what a cute haircut. What do you think? Good. I I'm love my hair. You want to do it again? I'm going to do it. Hello. Would you like purple hair yarn or yellow hair yarn? Yellow. Let's make a cut right here. One. Let me hold this out. Make another cut right here. And then one more. Nice. Okay, okay. Let me see where's the hair. You'll spread it on there. I'm going to clip it in place. Hi, I'm here to get my hair cut. Are you a hairdresser? Yeah. Okay, I might need a little wash. might need a little shampoo. Yeah, there's a shampoo bowl and the shampoo is already in there. How about shampoo? It's just a whole bunch of little bubbles mixed together. And that and the bubbles work together and go wash, 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 wash. Wash, wash. Rinse, rinse. And then rinse it out. Rinse, rinse. I think I'm ready for the hair dryer. I'm, I'm, I'm showing it to the old vintors. You see these little buds on there? Yeah. I'm just gonna... It looks beautiful. I'll get them all ready. And then how about this? Let's try cutting it at this length first and then see how we like it. So cut around here. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love it. What do you think about this length? Do you think longer, shorter? Shorter. Shorter? Okay. On this side? Yeah. Let's do it. Then I'm going to hold it and then do Oh, that looks so good. And, uh, I'll hold it out this way for you. Nice! Oh, I love my hair. Do you love it? Yeah. 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 You know how we talked about the shampoo? Well, shampoo is just soap for your hair, but it's made of lots of little bubbles. So I thought we could play with some bubbles. Because we've been talking about shampoo. Would that be fun? Yeah, yeah let's bubble. play with some bubbles. Here's another fun activity we can do. I have a little plant pot where we plant some plants. I got some paint and a couple of paint brushes. I was thinking together we can paint this pot and then we can plant a plant in it and this could be a really cute gift that you can give to your mom or dad or grandma or grandpa or teacher or a friend. You can make your own painted pot and then give them a nice plant or a flower. So let's paint this one together. Let's see, we'll grab a paintbrush and first we'll use some pink and we'll just do cute little designs how about a little zigzag, zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag. That's fun. Let's see, maybe some purple. And we can do some pop, dot, 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 dot. Cool thing about crafts is you can do whatever you'd like and make it any design that you want to as long as you're having fun. You can also paint your hand and then do a handprint on it, which would be also really cool. Let's do a blue line. That's cute. Let's see, I'll use a different brush for our white paint. Let's see, and we'll just do some Dots, dot, 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 dot. That's cute. Then I can do, ooh, how about yellow? And we'll draw a little sun. I'll do a circle. And we'll do line, line, line coming out of it. That's cute. Do we have any more space? Ooh, we do. How about this orange paint? 
and we'll do lines going this way. Line, 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 line. Wow, look at that. We made a really cute little pot for a plant. And you can plant a flower in it or a cute plant. You can even do an edible plant. I have some plants that we can plant in our pot. And this is basil. This is a tomato plant. And you can plant them and then put them in your kitchen if you'd like. And then when you need to cook with some basil or need some tomatoes, they'll be right there in your kitchen. Let's plant our tomato plant. I'll take it out of this container. Here we go, we took it out. And I'll place it in here. Pop. Now we just need to fill it up with some soil. I've got some soil in here and a little shovel. Let's see, we'll fill it up, dig. Pour some in, dig, pour some in, dig, pour some in. I'm making a little bit of a mess. Sometimes it can be tricky, kind of hard to pour things in, but you know what? We can do hard things. I'll take some deep breaths. Oh, maybe I'll take a deep breath like a cow. You wanna do it with me? Moo! Here we go. We can do hard things. And it's all right to make a mess because we can clean it up. Here we go. Now, we've got our own tomato plant. And you can have your own tomato plant for you or you can gift it to someone you love and they can put it in their kitchen and grow their own tomatoes. Now that this is planted, I'll move it to the side and we can clean this up. Clean up, clean up, everybody let's clean up, clean up, clean up. Clean your mess up. Clean up, clean up, we can clean up. Yes, we can, yes, we can, because we can clean up. All right, and I'll put this in my soil bin. Here we go. Thank you for helping me. Just dip your paintbrush in the colors and then paint all around. Or you could put paint on your hand and do a cute hand stamp. That's beautiful. Stamp. My pinky. Oh, oh yeah, you can do a little finger stamp. That's cute. Then I'll show you what I did after once you paint it. I'll take this out and then you can put this in here. Put it in. Good work. And then you can grab a little soil and then put that into the pot to fill it up. Fill it up. Get you some more. Here you go. Yeah! That's okay, you know what? That happened to me too. And I said, that's okay to make a mess because we can clean it up. Let me do it now. Okay, let's do it. Here, let me turn it. Here we go. Let me get all the yeah, let's clean it up together. You ready? Here's another fun activity you can do at home and make your own kazoo. Kazoo, it's a silly word, but it's a little musical instrument that you blow into and then it makes this fun sound. And you can make one at home. Let's see what we need. You need a cardboard tube. You can get this from the paper towel roll or you can get a small one from a toilet paper roll. If you get a long one, you can cut it in half. And let's see, we'll also need a rubber band. It's like a hair tie, stretchy rubber band. And some wax paper. So we'll cut a little piece. Let's see. Then we just need one. 
want to take the wax paper and put it over the cardboard roll and put the rubber band over it to kind of keep it tight, keep it in place. And with your grown-ups help, make a hole in the tube. And then you just blow into this part. Ready? Now you made your very own kazoo. Here's another fun activity you can do at home and make your own grocery bag that you can take to the grocery store or the farmer's market. And you just need a little bag and then you can do stickers or cut these out and then decorate your bag with fruits and vegetables. Let's see, we'll use a watermelon, a carrot, an avocado. And how about a tomato? a plum, and a banana. That's gonna be very cute. Let's make it together. You can use stickers, like I said, or get these little stickies that you can put onto your fruit and vegetables and then stick it on to your bag. Here we go. Let's add a few more. Now you can you have your own grocery bag that you can take to the store with you and you can decorate it however you like. I hope you have fun. I'm gonna put it here. Yeah. Here and then with this part. Can we get it? There you go. And you can stick it to the bag. Very cute. Then I own the egg. Okay. Can we eat here? I didn't put an egg on there, but I think yours would be very cute with an egg. Would you like another sticky? Yeah. Here you go. Pink. Cute. Can what you, else? You just do it. Okay, how about a broccoli? Yeah. Yeah? All right. Here's another fun activity you can do at home if you print out a picture of a sheep. Or you can draw one. And then what we're gonna do is stick these cotton balls to make our sheep really fluffy. If you have a glue stick, you can put the glue stick on and then stick these on. Or something else you can do is if you ask your grown up for help, they can help you cut this part out. Let's cut it out together. Let's see. Here we go. And if you put tape on the back of it, it'll make it sticky. Here we go. Now this part of the sheep is sticky. Let's put our cotton balls on. Here's one. Let's stick some more. Let's put more cotton balls on. Here's one more here. And another one. 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 Oh, wow. Look how fluffy our sheep is. Bah, bah. Thank you for helping me. Hey, sheep, you want to go see if we can see a rainbow? Yeah. Yeah, come on, sheep. Sheep says, bah. Bah. Good yeah, it was good buying, huh? Let's go, sheep. Let's go see if we can see a rainbow. Here's a fun activity you can play at home. If you have a puzzle, and it can be any puzzle, we'll use a farm puzzle today. But you can do ABCs or animals or cars or anything else. We'll put them in this bin and cover it up with rice. You can also use sand or oatmeal or if you don't want to get messy with any of the rice, 
You can play this game by doing a hide and seek with a puzzle and hide the pieces around the house or your playroom or even the couch and then find them and put them in the puzzle. Today, we'll play hide and seek with our rice. This is some play rice. I'll put it in. All right. Now let's dig for our puzzle pieces and find it together. Let's see what we can find together. Digging, digging. Oh, I found something. I found a dog piece. Do you see this piece on the puzzle? Hmm. Oh yeah, right here. Here we go. Great job. Let's see what else we can find. Oh, I found a rooster. Hey, rooster, he says, cock a doodle doo. Do you see the spot on the board with a rooster? Oh yeah, right in the middle. Here we go. Put it in. Let's see. Let's see what else we can find. Digging, digging. Oh wow, I found a horse. Horses like to go, nay, nay. Do you see a spot on the puzzle board with the horse? Mm. Oh yeah, right here in the left corner. Here we go. Let's see what else we can find. Ooh, a sheep. Here we go. Do you see the spot for the sheep? Oh, in this bottom right corner. Here we go. Let's see what else we can find. <gasps> wink, 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 wink. Hi, piggy. Where is the spot for the piggy? Right here. Here we go. How silly. Oh, I found a cow. Moo, says the cow. Do you see a spot for this cow? Yeah, right there. Here we go. Let's see if we find another piece. Hello, duck. Quack, quack. Let's see if we can find the spot. Do you see a spot for this duck? All right, this last one right here. Let's put it in. All right, thank you for helping me. Hi, horse. What's the rice? Great, fine. Making um, I found a rooster came out of here. Hi, rooster. She came out of here. Hi, she. Let me see another piece. The piece is a little. That's all right. That happens with our puzzle pieces sometimes, huh? Hey, little darling. Oh, you found all of the pieces. Good work. Let me put them back in. Let's put them back in. Let's do it again. And do piggy and then you. Good job putting the piggy on the rice. Right. And the cow hide. I put the backward in. Which will be forward and push what the hide right in there. There. And dog. And uh, here. And dog. Hide under here. Let's make a really cute alligator craft together. And you can ask your grown up for help if you want to make one at home. I've got a little oven mitten. This one's green for our alligator. I also cut out some teeth. Chomp, chomp, chomp. A little red tongue. And I've got some gooey eyes. And they're gonna go onto our alligator. 
It'll make a cute little alligator with his teeth. All right, let's do it. All right, let's make a cute little craft. First, we'll put on our eyes these little stickies. Here is one eye. And I'm putting the sticky part onto the eye, onto the back of the eye. Here's the sticky, and I'll put it next to our other eye. Look at that. Chomp, 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 chomp. And let's put our tongue in here. Maybe right over here. Chomp, chomp. Let me get a sticky for our tongue. Sometimes when it's sticky, it can be a little tricky. Tricky when it's sticky. Here we go. And the last part, I want to put some teeth right over here for our little alligator. Chomp, chomp, chomp. On. Look at those great teeth, alligator. And we'll do the bottom ones. And we'll stick this to the bottom. Here we go. Go. Oh wow, look at our cute little alligator we made together. Go chomp, 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 chomp. Oh wow, look at the little alligator friend we made. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Alligator, I really like your teeth. And because we have so many teeth in our mouth, we want to open our mouth really wide when we're in the dentist office. That way they can see our front teeth and all the way in the back and see our back teeth. Our front teeth are called incisors. They're a little bit sharp and pointy and they help us cut the food and cut it into pieces. The teeth in the back are called molars. Our molars are kind of flat and wide and those teeth help us kind of chew up the food and grind it all up. But usually when we smile, we just kind of see our front teeth. That's why it's really important to open up wide at the dentist's office. That way they can see the front and the back teeth. And when, they, when we use a toothbrush, we also want to brush in the front and open wide alligator. Ah, in the back. And with our teeth, we kind of have the front area and the back area. So when you're brushing, it's important to brush, brush, brush the front and brush, brush, brush the back and brush, brush, brush the sides and brush it all around. Because what happens when we eat food, here's some broccoli, yum, 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 yum. Or strawberries, here's a strawberry, yum, 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 yum. Or a carrot, yum, 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 yum. Oh, look at this, our alligator got some pieces of food stuck in his mouth. And we can use a toothbrush to brush it out. Ready, let's brush, brush, brush your teeth. We got a strawberry out. Wow, alligator. Brush, oh, and a broccoli and a carrot fell out. Brush, brush, brush your teeth. Ooh, looks like we got some strawberry and carrots stuck in the back. Let's brush them out. We did it. We did it, alligator. Great work. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great eight, counting. Teeth on the bottom. And now let's... Put some food in. I'm out of the dentist. I'm out of the dentist. Will you see if there's any food in my mouth? Probably ate. Probably ate carrot and broccoli and probably. Oh wow! Do you think you can help me? Probably. Do you want to brush it? I put all this stuff out. Then I'll do some brushing with this. 
a bloody fell out. Another bloody fell out. And then I would just get for the egg. Pull the egg out. Oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. My smile is so bright and clean. Thank you for helping me. That was fun. I see some problems and the bloody and the bloody and some problems. There's your tongue. Thank you. Look at how great my teeth look. Wow. Thank you. Do you put all the food in your mouth? And then and I want to wash the big one, see what's in there with my mirror. And then there's this washi was here. And then there's washi. Then there's this his teeth with this whole long food. Look at it in. What? He's put in red, red, vanilla, right. I got the ball out in mower. Good work. I got the tail out in front, out in sizes. Good work. I got it all clean. Good work. Okay. So thank you for helping me. And sometimes when we eat food, little pieces of food get stuck right between our teeth. That's when we wanna use a flosser. Floss is a piece of string, really, really thin. It can be attached to a little flosser like this or come out of a floss and you can go between your teeth to brush it out. Oh, we can make another fun craft and play with some floss. Come on, let's make another fun craft with a piece of paper. Some more googly eyes. Boom, 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 boom and some teeth. Now we'll stick on some googly eyes. Yeah. All right, look at our little friend. How cute. Here's this little friend, he says, I'm feeling hungry. I'd like to have a strawberry. Yum, 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 yum. We crush it up with our incisors and grind it up with our teeth and sometimes the food gets stuck in our mouth like this. I'd like some broccoli too. Okay, here you go. Yum, 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 yum. Here we go. And I'd like some carrots. And some little pieces can get stuck too. Oh wow, here we go. Let's see if we can help our friend. First thing we can do is brush our teeth. Brush, 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 brush. Oh, looks like with brushing, we got a broccoli out and a carrot. Now let's see. I'll use a little dental mirror. Let's check what's behind here. Oh, I see a strawberry hiding back there and a broccoli. Oh wow, you know what I think we need? We might need a flosser. Maybe we can use a flosser like this to go floss, 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 floss. Oh, I think we got a strawberry out between the teeth. Oh, and a broccoli. But you know, our little friend is so big, we'll pretend this yarn is a big piece of bigger floss. Sometimes at the dentist, they use bigger floss and they go right between your teeth. Go brushing it, brushing it up and getting more food that got stuck right between them. Here we go. Flossing, 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 flossing. Oh, wow. Great smile. Look at that little alligator monster. Sometimes also at the dentist, you'll see a tool like this. It looks a little sharp, but they use it for counting. Let's count our little alligator's teeth. One, two, three, up top. We have a little one, two, three, four on the bottom. Great smile. I see two, I see two, I see some flowers, I see a broccoli. And 
Here you will do the one fashion. I'm getting a properly out. I'm getting a mouse. I got a table. I'm wondering again. I might have to be a mirror. I see a body and some feathers. I just got the flappers and come out. All the food is coming out. I think it. I thought. I think that is it. There's no toothpaste on. Oh, thank you for brushing my teeth. Look at how many yummy foods came out. I can't believe they were stuck in my mouth. Thank you. I'll help you. Thank you for helping me. Here's a fun activity you can do at home if you ask your aunt for help. You can put some contact paper. It's called contact paper and it's sticky on one side but not the other. And you can tape it to the wall with the sticky part out and then if you put something like a butterfly behind it, you can do a really cute butterfly design. I cut up some pieces of paper with all the different colors and then we can put it all around and design our own butterfly. Ready? Here we go. I'll put a purple piece. And, ooh, what about a green one? An orange one. Ooh, pink one here. A red one. Another orange one. How about this piece? Let's put this red piece here. Here we go. Here we go. This is gonna be a very cute butterfly. Baby says, I wanna try, I wanna try. Okay, here we go. You pick up a piece and then stick it on. Pick up, ooh, a green piece. Stick it on. Let's put on another purple piece. Orange piece. Let's do a fun little caterpillar activity with some pom-poms and some cute little caterpillars. Come on! Let's do a fun little caterpillar activity. First, let's count how many faces we have. We have one, two, three, four, five. And I have these pom-poms. How about we build longer caterpillars? This one says one. Let's add one pom-pom. This one says two. Let's add two pom-poms. One, two. This one says three. Let's grab three pom-poms. One, two, and three. This one says four. Let's add four pom-poms. One, two, three, four. Whoop. This one says five. Let's add five pom-poms. One, two, three, four, and five. We did it. Look at our cute little caterpillars. Thank you for helping me. One, two, three. Three for this one. Four. Don't forget four. One, two, three, four. Nice. One, two, three. Is it longer? It's longer, yeah. Look, it's, it's almost reaching the end of the paper. When do you see four or five? Well, here you go, little tea mm -hmm. little Drop, drop. Let's do a fun activity with some cars, some markers, and some of these dot stickers. Come on. 
Here's a fun activity you can play at home. If you have some cards, markers, and a little bit of tape, you can use the tape to attach the markers to your cars and then drive them to draw. This car says, I'll drive in a triangle shape. Drive, 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 drive. And you can drive them all around making different fun designs. And another way you can play is if you get these stickers and put one on this side, one on this side. Let's do green and green. Next, we'll use our cars to connect the colors. We'll use this car. First, I have a dark blue dot. Do you see another one on this side? Yeah, right here. Let's drive to it to connect them. Drive, drive. Good work. Next one, we have a green one. Do you see the green one on this side? Yeah, right here. Ready? Let's drive. Drive, drive to the green. Next, I have a per pink one. Do you see the pink one on this side? Yeah, right here. Ready? Let's drive over. Drive, drive. Next one is yellow. Do you see the yellow one on this side? Right here. Ready? Let's drive on over. Let's drive on over. Drive, drive. And we connected the colors. Here's an orange one. Do you see the orange circle on this side? Yeah, right here. Let's connect the matching colors. We have the green sticker on this side. Where's the green sticker on the other side? <gasps> yeah, ready? Drive over. And you connect them. Okay, you can do from this side to this side or from this side to this side. Which color would you like to start with? Mm, this side. Okay, drive it over to the matching color. Yeah! All right, what's the next color? Pink? Yeah. Okay, where do you want to drive it to? We gotta find it. I think it might be over here is hiding. There it goes, car. Mommy, put another one right here. Another one of these right here. Here's another fun activity you can play at home. All you need is a cardboard, some cards, and a marker and stickers. And what we're gonna do is make a little parking lot for our cars, then drive and park them. Let's do it. First, I'll make some numbers on our stickers. I'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'll make another set of these numbers down here. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's put these stickers on our cars. and I'll make some parking spots. Here we go. Let's see, I've got this car with the number one. Let's find parking spot number one. Drive, drive. Here's spot number one. Here we go. Now I'm looking for spot number two. Let's find it together. Draw, draw. Here's spot number two. Great work. Now I'm looking for spot with the number three. Let's find it together. Hmm. Here it is. Here we go. Draw, draw. And we popped in number three. I'll turn them this way so we can see them all. Now. I'm looking for spot number four. And I see it right over there. Let's go park our car. Drive, drive. Here we go. Now I'm looking for spot number five. Let's find it together. No, 
number five. We have five cars left. You can also play this activity on your floor and something you can add is a tunnel to drive through for your cars to go through. Let's add a tunnel. I'll fold these sides together and then we'll use some tape. All right, let's park the rest of our cars. Let's see, this one has a number seven. Drive through the tunnel. Oh, here it is. And let's find spot number seven. We parked it. Let's see, ooh, this one has a number nine. Drive through the tunnel, whoa. Ooh, it's stuck, come on little car. Drive, 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 drive. Let's park it at number nine. Ooh, this one has a number six. Drive, drive, woo! Oh, we bonked this one. Gotta drive carefully, carefully. And here's a spot number six. This one has a number eight. Drive, drive, drive through the tunnels. Here we go. Number eight. If you play this activity at home, you can set up many tunnels and drive through them. And you can make a really big parking lot. You can also use other toys like animals or shapes and you can put the stickers or the numbers on them and match the colors or the numbers. Drive, drive! This is our car with the number 10. Drive, drive! And let's park it in our last spot. Great work! Thank you for helping me. Trash truck. Mm -hmm. A little car tunnel. Let's see. This one is a car wash. Do you think the trash truck wants to go to the car wash? Come on, trash truck. Sure. Oh, good thinking. Here's another fun activity you can do at home if you ask your grown up for help. You can cut out little foods like bananas and carrots, watermelon, and we can create little recipes that we can then repeat. I'll show you how to do it. Come on! Here's a fun little game called a recipe that you can play at home. First, we'll create a recipe up here. How about this recipe for a piece of bread, cheese, avocado, egg, and another piece of bread. It'll be a little sandwich. Let's see if we can do it together. All right, let's match it. First, we need a piece of bread. Next, oh, cheese. Avocado. Egg. And another piece of bread. We did it! Now let's do another recipe. We'll clean this up. Put our things away. All right, let's do another fun recipe. How about strawberry, watermelon, banana, and an orange? Ready? Let's make it together. First, we have a strawberry, then a watermelon, a banana, and orange. We did it. Let's put them away and do another little recipe. Here we go. 
how about we do a little salad and we'll do a broccoli, carrot, let's make it fun, we'll do a plum, and a tomato. Ooh, let's make it again. First we have a broccoli, a carrot, a plum, and a tomato. Yay, we did it. Thank you for helping me. But I'll make it first, and then you can repeat it. I did watermelon, banana, let's do strawberry, and a plum, and then you can match it down here. So first we need a watermelon. Let's grab it. I'm gonna put it right here. What's the next one? Banana. Let's grab it. Here we go. We and what's next? Strawberry. <laughs> Let's grab a strawberry. Put it on. And what's next? Plum cut. Let's do a plum cut. Yay! You did it. You want to do another recipe? All right. What are you thinking? Watermelon. Mm -hmm. I made it. Oh, okay, okay. I'll try to copy your recipe now. So, watermelon. And then, next one, the watermelon is an egg. All right, okay, here we go. Egg. And then I did plum cut after the egg. Here we go. And, and then what's next? Then I put a banana. I'll do a banana. And then, what's next? Mommy. And then I want a strawberry onion. Here we go. You want to do another one? We also have broccoli, avocado, bread, cheese, tomato. You want to do another one? Yeah. Okay. Well, I will be something different. It will be something different. Okay, I'm excited Mommy, to see. Mommy, I'm going to make some okay. stuff up. Go ahead. And, and, and see. Okay. I want an egg and a watermelon and a plum. So, an egg, a watermelon. But I'm going to get a watermelon egg, plum tart egg. Okay, okay, okay. Watermelon, egg, plum, and an egg. That's a good recipe. You want to do another one? Another one, but they're gonna be something different. Okay, I'm excited so, to learn. Okay, what are you thinking? Watermelon egg. Bread. With some cheese on top Ooh, of yummy. it. Cheesy toast. Strawberry egg. Ooh, okay, okay. I'll scoot them over a little so we have room for me to repeat it. Okay. Mommy, I'm afraid yeah. I did watermelon. Okay, watermelon. And, and then I did egg. Okay, and and, what's next? And then I did bread with some cheese on top. Bread with some cheese on top. And then a strawberry. And a strawberry. Oh, I think I'm missing one more egg in here like you. Two eggs. There we go. Now it matches. Can I do one more? You can do it because now I'll pick yours. Okay. And I'll sit behind it. Okay. Are you ready? This is going to be a good one. And what I'm going to be on, on the side. Avocado. Oh, are you excited to learn? How about avocado, a carrot, broccoli, egg, and cheese? Whoa. Can I repeat it? Yeah, you can repeat it. Uh, uh, 
Mommy, yeah. tell me what you did, then I will do it. Okay. First, I have an avocado. What do you have next? Carrot. Good one. Then I have a broccoli. An egg. And cheese. And now they match, you did it. Let's make a really fun sensory activity and all you need is some chickpeas. We're gonna use the water from it and then some cream of tartar. So first what we're gonna do is open up this can and you see the water in there? Yeah. We're gonna drain it in. Here, grab this bowl for me. Yeah. And we're gonna just... What? Drain it through. And then the chickpeas you can cook up to eat. You can also put them in a chili. We're gonna put ours in a chili. Or you can cook them up and add them to a pasta sauce for some extra protein. Okay, ready? Mommy, I'm ready for the colors. Are you? Yeah, and the table powder. Okay, I'm gonna have you put in the cream. We're doing two cans of chickpeas. And for that, we're gonna use one teaspoon of cream of tartar. All right, fit this in. Cream of tartar. Nice, and then you know what we need next? Where to go. Thank you, this is gonna be fun kind of Taste safe activity. So if you're making this for a baby, they can play with this too. But maybe leave the dye out. Okay, we have we can make it red, green, blue, or yellow. Under green. Under red. Red. Let's add a few drops of red in here to make it a fun foam color. Here you go. Yeah, here you go. Add a few drops. Good job. And then we're just gonna mix it up with the mixer for about five minutes. And it's gonna turn to a really fun foam. I'm gonna turn it on, you ready? Yeah. You see the both Yay! Okay, we're gonna do a fun activity. We'll use our cars. We have a green one, yellow one, and orange one. And then look, it turned the chickpea water into this really cool fall. Mommy, put it in. So I'm gonna put it in, and you can race your cars in it. And you can do a really fun activity. You can just play. You want to touch it? Yes, show me. Oh, that's... She hopped in the car wash. I'm going to hop in. She, she hopped in the phone. You think the wheels are ugly? In this water, I got some. Oh, then soapy. Drawing a coconut. Oh, we got soap. Okay, there you go. Ooh, ooh. And get that bit. Go ahead. From here. There and then go. stir it. Yeah, mix it all up. And stir it. Look at those pretty colors. Wow. In here, so they're ready for their foam race. Let's stir it, stir it. Let's stir it up here. Let me have this open. Uh, a little green and a little blue. All right. Okay. And then let's stir it up in there, and then be really fun. Okay, I'm excited. You want the green? Okay. It's very fun. Ooh. And we'll play it all around. I'm all right, but let's find the water, but I'm. Pink. Yeah. That's pretty silly. That is pretty silly. I like that. Here's another fun activity you can do at home to decorate a little Christmas tree. And all you need are little pipe cleaners and some beads. I made a little hole and attached the pipe cleaners in the back with some tape. That way they won't move for you. And then you can take the beads and thread them onto the pipe cleaners and decorate your tree however you want. Let's put some stars on this one. Here's a little star bead. Thread it on. And some more beads. We can make it really, really colorful, or you can do patterns, or you can do it all one color, however you want, and you can just play and play and decorate your Christmas tree. Thanks for playing with me. I'm saying sweaty me swoo. You are? Can I do one? 
Yeah. One, one of the pink. Uh, after one, you are you gonna pick a yellow one or an orange one? Oh, which one do you think I should next? I'm putting on purple. Oh, you know what? I'll do a purple one to match you. I I I had a pink, purple bead, purple star, purple bead, purple star. Oh, I really like that. Oh, that's for the dirt snatch matter. I'm just really good at this. Yeah, you are. I just turn the light to the boop 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 We'll do one blue circle. Let's see. Then how about a yellow one? A pink one. And the dark blue. And we can make it cute and draw a little face on our caterpillar. And let's try to match it. Let's do it together. Let's see what colors we need to match. Let's do, first one is light blue. Let's grab a light blue sticker and we'll put it over here. All right, next is the color yellow. Let's put it on. All right, next color is pink. Let's match it. I'll grab a pink sticker, peel it off. Here we go. And we have one more sticker to match. It's the color dark blue. And it's right here. Here we go. Oh wow, we matched it perfectly. Great work, thank you for helping me. Let's create a fun little sticky frame together for a little nature scavenger hunt. We'll just need some popsicle sticks, some tape, some stickies or glue to keep the sticks together, and that's it. Let's make it together. Come on. Here's a fun activity you can make. If you use some big popsicle sticks and stickies to create a frame, and then we'll add tape to make one side sticky. First, let's put on these stickies and put this frame together. Look at this square we made. I'll use this to prop it up and we'll use sticky tape. Now we made a little sticky frame. Let's get this out of the way. Now we made a little sticky frame and it's sticky on one side but not sticky on the other. And you can take it outside and as you find pretty flowers or leaves, you can stick them on making a really pretty picture. We'll add some clover leaves. This red leaf. I found this beautiful flower outside. What else? How about this green leaf and some more cute clovers? There you go. Thanks for making a nature frame with me. Very big. Very this big. So big? It's gonna be so big. And it is. And it's flat and it's belly. Baby. I already found the leaf. Well, let me see. You want to stick it on? Yeah. Oh, I love that. Great leaf. What else do you see? More leaves. Okay, you want to stick them on? Yes. It was already so much. Yeah. You want to stick them on, my friend? Yeah. You ready? I have one. That's a great one. Two. Four, five, six, seven. I love it. You want to bring up some more? 
when the dirt has to the bear. Did you want to slide down? Yeah. Okay. Well, my hand, little uh, mama bunny. You ready? Wow! Yes, <laughs> run, 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 do the dog. Run, 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 do the dog. I think there's maybe some carrots growing. What carrots? And tomatoes. Let's do a really fun activity with some leaves, paint, and some rollers. It's gonna be so much fun. Come on. There's a fun activity you can do with some leaves that you find around. I've got some red ones, green ones, long ones, short ones, green ones, and more. And what we're gonna do is apply a little paint. Let's do a little bit of yellow. We'll put it on the leaf, and then we'll place it down. And let's use a roller to roll it. Ready? Let's roll, and I'll press it down. Roll, 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 roll. Let's lift it up. Wow, we got a cute little leaf design. Let's try it again over here. That's fun. Oh, let's do this really big one. And let's see, what if we do red? All right, now we'll flip it. And let's roll it to press it down. How cool is that? Let's do another one over here. Wow, let's do some more. And then place it here and roll it all around, all around. Wow, isn't that fun? Let's do some more over here. Nifty, it's leaving a little leaf design. That's something you can do. Use a little bit of to make a really cute craft. All right, pick a color, any color. I want to meet. Hello, what color would you like? I'm gonna take this painting. Brush okay. And then do a little paint. All right, and then brush that on on the leaf. Mix it up with red. Mommy wants this. Mm. Stamp it. Yeah. Put it for there. I like that. I will put it to the side. Okay, and then what are you thinking? And then get, I need a, one of these yellow painting brush. Go ahead. And I'm gonna put it it's going to be yellow. Okay. Put it onto the roller. I think that's going to be fun. <laughs> and then put it right here. And then kind of paint all around. And then roll it, roll it out. I like that. And then put a little blue on there. Okay. And then throw it into the blue, Ooh. into the yellow. What does that make? That kind of makes like a green color. And what about if we put a little purple on here? Mm -hmm. And then roll it in there. What does it then make? Ooh, like a purple, green, blue. Sweet. Here's another fun activity you can play at home. You just need to set up some bins, or you can even play this in the bath or outside. If you're playing inside, make sure to set a towel underneath so nothing spills. If you fill this one up with water, you can put little ducks in and have a duck race. Put them in. And if you get a spray bottle, when we spray our ducks, they're gonna start swimming. Ready? Let's cheer our ducks on. You ready for some duck races? Let's do it. Swim, swim, little ducky. Oh, wow. Great swimming. Now let's spray another one. Swim, swim. Swim, swim. Go, little ducky. Let's set up another duck race. I've got a pink ducky. 
an orange ducky, and a blue one. And let's spray them together. Ready? You go, little duckies. Go, go, go. All right. Go, little ducky. Here it goes. This is this thing from the water now. That is where the water's coming out from. That's right. Mm hmm And if you point it towards the duckies, that's what makes them go swim, swim, swim. Mm. You go, duckies! Yeah! There goes your duckies and they're swimming from spring. Go, little duckies, go! Another fun activity you can do is if you get a little strainer sifter like this, and we can help rescue the duckies out of their water. Put it in, take the ducky out, and I'll put it in the dry bin. Get another one, wow! Here you go, little ducky. Here we go. And another one, wow! A blue ducky. Look at how many ducks we're helping. All right, thank you for playing with me. Here we go. Another fun color matching activity you can do at home. And if you go to your local hardware store, you can pick up some of these paint samples and then cut them. When you're learning to use scissors, it's important to be very careful and we'll use that closing motion that we learned. Remember we were doing the puppets and those little tongs? We're going open, close, open, close. That's what we do with scissors as well. When we place our hand in, we're gonna go open, close, open, close. Sometimes it helps me when I put a little smiley face on my thumb. So I put a little eye, eye, mouth. And that helps me remember to keep my thumb upward so it's always smiling at me. And then when I'm cutting, I keep my hands away from the blades we don't want to cut ourselves and we go open close open close and that's how we make a cut make sure when you're first starting to cut you're always getting a help from your grown-up and this is a fun activity you can do when you cut some colorful paper and then you can match it now let's match it I have a red one do you see the red spot yeah, right here. I'll put it on. Then I have a blue one. Do you see the blue spot? Right here. Let's put it on. Next, I've got this green one. Right here. We'll put it on. How about this yellow one? Let's put it on the yellow. And I've got a purple one. Here we go. To play this activity at home, you can just put the piece of paper on a cardboard, or if you have the other pieces, you can use those to play. And if you pack it up in a little bag, you can always bring it to go and have an activity to go. If you go to a restaurant or you're out somewhere, you can have a fun activity to play. Thank you for playing with me and helping me. Yeah. There you go. Is it a clip on? Let's try again. Ready? Pinch it open. And on! All right, what's the next color? All right, you ready? Nice. What you got, blue? Ooh, what you got? Yellow. Nice. 
from the tip and you spin it. Did it pinch you a little bit? Sometimes it can be tricky like that. Oh, let's flip this one over. There we go. Look at that! You want to do it again? Let's do a fun letter activity and all you need is some pipe cleaners. Let's do it together. Come on! Here's a fun activity. You can play using some pipe cleaners and you can create little fun letters. Let's see, we can bend this one into letter C and maybe this one. Ooh, let's use this pink one into letter A. And then how about this blue one into letter T. And if we sound it out, it spells cat. 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 Now we have the letter C A T. And they sound make the sounds k at k at cat. What's kind of silly is if we keep the letters A and T, but we change this first letter from C to B, then we sound it out b at. Bat, bat. You know what else is silly? If we keep this A and this T, but we change this first letter instead of B to an H, now we sound it out hat, hat. How silly. Let's keep this letter A and T. Let's switch this first letter to letter M. Now it sounds out mat, mat. Isn't that so silly? All of these words sound similar and because they have similar letters at the end, they sound similar, so they rhyme. Cat, bat, rhyming words. Bat, hat, rhyming words. Hat, mat, rhyming words. Isn't that so cool? And you can use this to learn how to read the smaller words, to sound out the letter and put it together. Let's do it again. So let's sound it out. At cat. Next one is b at bat. This is letter H that makes a h sound h at hat. Letter M makes the m sound m at mat. Thanks so much for reading with me. Mat. Yeah. Hat, bat, the word cat. What word's that? Cat. Yeah, let's do them one by one. I was going this way. Yeah. Well, I'm going to do a fun activity when you draw. Okay, okay. okay. Show me what about Okay, okay, okay. How about P U P uh <laughs> pop, pop. If we keep this U and this P, so we still have the up sound. Instead of P, what if we did a C here? So it would sound out yeah, uh, uh, And then what if it was just the U and the P? Uh, up, up, that's it. Cat, 
that. Hot. Not that. You just Hot. read all those. Mump. Mump is a good one. Mump. <laughs> <laughs> mump. <laughs> you, you like mump. Okay, mump. Mm. I think that would be maybe M U M P. Mump. I think it would be like that. Mump. Mump. <laughs> Here's a fun activity you can do at home if you ask your grown-up for help. It's a great one to get your energy out, run around, do some searching and finding, and even learn some letters. All you need is a poster board, or you can even use a whiteboard or a piece of paper, and we're gonna write the letters in these squares. And then if you get some post-it notes on them, you can write letters as well and then place them all around your house and then go and find all of the letters, bring them back, and then match them to the letter on the poster. You can also do the same thing with shapes or if you're learning your big letters to little letters, you can write the big letters on here and the small letters on your post-it notes and then match them to one another. But first, let's write out our letters together. Come on! Now that we have all of our letters up, we can write the letters on the post-it notes and then put them all around the house. Now that we have all of the letters, you can put them around randomly and make it a fun hide and seek or you can put them on things that match the sound. So for letter A, it makes a sound ah, ah, like an airplane. So if you had airplane toy, maybe it would be on there. Or this letter makes a sound b, like ball, or b, b, book, or b, b, bear. What about letter C it makes the k sound for cup? Letter D makes the d sound, maybe for d d diapers or d d drawing. You can put it all around to match the sounds or just randomly and then burn your energy out looking for them and placing them back. Let's play it together. Come on. Okay, okay, ready? I have letters hidden all around the room on the post-it notes. And then if you find a letter, when you see one, bring it back to this poster and match it. R and I, yeah. A and N and V and A and D. Gather, yeah, you wanna help me? W and E. Thank you, thank you. Uh. Z. Yay, perfect! I think we found them all. T. T, good find. Do you see a T over here? Here. Oh, nice. B, 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 U. Yeah! Woohoo! <gasps> X. Oh, good find! Yeah, we were missing that. X, X. Where are you at? X does ready. Why? <gasps> we did it! Whoa, look at all of these letters we found. Thank you so much for helping me. And this is such a fun activity to do. If you wanna burn out that energy, learn something new, and do some finding and matching. Thank you so much for playing with me. We're gonna do another fun hair cutting activity. I'm gonna cut this paper into a line. And then I'm gonna do another one that's a little bit longer. And what we're gonna do is cut it 
kind of down like we were doing the hair. But then we're gonna glue it onto a cardboard tube to make it a hairstyle. And then we'll cut that hair hair for a haircut. How does that sound? Yeah, let's do it. You wanna cut this? I'm gonna cut the tube. Okay, you cut the tube. I'll cut this to get it ready. Mama. Good cutting. Look at that, girl. You can draw a face on it. Mouth, nose. I need to get a haircut. Oh, you get your haircut. I'll get this one ready for you. For this one, we're gonna glue on a little strip of paper to make it look like this friend's hair. And then he's gonna come in for a haircut too. One, and then let's glue on this other one. I made them different length, and I'm gonna wrap it around. How are we gonna wrap it? I'll show you, are you so excited? Are we gonna hold them? Yeah. I, I, nose, smell. We've got another friend, and look at his hairstyle. He's got green and red hair. And he just came in into the salon. Hello, I need a haircut. I'm gonna take it right here. And I'm gonna do it. Snip, snip. Snip. And let me do this way. These ones are a little bit thicker so it won't go through, but you can go around and trim all the hairs. Yeah, yeah. And you can separate it by color, so maybe cut the green ones first or cut the reds ones first. We're doing different lengths. I'm going to try to do yours. Yeah? Um, okay. Would you like a red tube or a green tube? A green, a red. Okay, and then do you want me to cut you little strips of hair like this to glue on? I'm going to, I'm going to get a piece of paper. Okay. And I'm going to get these scissors. And then I get my hand. I'm going to cut a piece. Okay. I'm going to do different. I'm so excited for you to show it to me. I love your activities that you make and put together. I think they're so cool. I'm going to try to make it. I'm going to try one more part right here. Yeah. I like that. It's a this is the part. And it's just an old place. Oh, I like that. I'll pre-cut these so it bends around. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. All right, and then look at this. Okay. Ooh! Yeah, right here for me, and that's gonna seal the edge. And then right here in this corner, too. Now, we just need to draw the face if you want to, and then he'll be ready for his haircut. This is my turn to ready. We do close the eyes, eyes. Cute, okay. Uh, Turn, turn. Ooh, I like this a lot. Okay. This is better. This is Hi. Hi. Nose. Smell. Hello. I need a haircut. Is that doing what I did? Yeah. I'm going to put those to it to, to be the hair. To look like the hair. Cute. I'm going to do some paper. A whole big little piece, and you can hold this down. Okay. Floor, and I'm gonna touch the leaf and then touch some people. And I'm gonna put it on the green. And then I'm gonna add a little red here. Oh, I like that. And then a little red. You know, this kind of looks like a little robe the friend is wearing. Or a chrysalis. Or a chrysalis, right. What if it's a little caterpillar and a chrysalis? We gotta glue on some wings. You want me to make some wings out of this? Yeah. Okay, I think if we put the glue all right here, and then put your caterpillar in, you'll have a beautiful butterfly coming out of the chrysalis. I did it. Okay, let's place this in here. I think he's ready to come out and dry his wings. Butterfly, are you ready to fly? Okay. Wow, you can land on this flower and drink up some flower nectar juice. 
Yay! Yay! Just pretend. Yeah. I was just pretending. Let's do a fun activity and create little bug friends together. I've got a little ladybug and a little bumblebee. Buzz, buzz, buzz. We'll need some rocks, paint, and some googly eyes. Come on. Here's another fun activity you can do if you find some rocks. And you can grab them, collect them, and then paint them. How about we paint this one red? We'll grab some red paint. Ooh, and how about this one? We'll do yellow. I'll grab a little black paint and a small thin brush. And we can do polka dots here and turn this rock into a little ladybug. And what if we do little stripes here and turn this rock into a little bumblebee. Buzz, 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 bumblebee. And then you can use the paint to draw little eyes. Boop, 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 and a smile. Or you can use the googly eyes. and make silly animals out of rocks. Buzz, 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 buzz! I'm gonna make a bumblebee. All right, let's grab another rock. This rock. Oh, yeah. Yeah! You want me to hold the rock for you? Pink, 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 pink. Eye, eye, mouth. Cute! Hello! I'm gonna do a little red, and then I'm gonna see what it makes. Orange to the yellow. Sure. What does it all make? Let's see. It kind of looks orangish, red and yellow like that. Let's make this really cute craft together, making these cute flowers. And all you need is some paint, a canvas, and some rope. Let's do it together. Come on. For this activity, we'll first need to paint our canvas white. So let's do that first. Our canvas was dry, but by put, putting the new paint on it, we'll make it kind of slippery. So when we slide the string to make the flowers, it'll slide a lot easier and better creating the design we want. Next, we'll grab our strings. I'll put the pink paint here. And we're gonna place the string right in it. Kind of submerge it all the way. And I'll make sure it's nice and covered in all of this pink. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna lift it up with all this paint. And we're gonna place it on the canvas in like an S position. Isn't that so cool? Let's do it one more time with this cute pink color. We'll press it all in so it's all soaked with it. Lift it up. And let's do one lower in a cute little S position. Kind of like a backwards S almost. Now that it's all down, we're going to pull it straight down on the count of three. One, two, three. I'll place this pink one down. And how about we add, what if we add a few yellow? We're gonna pull on three. One, two, three. And let's add one more yellow flower. One, two, three. Another cute flower. Thank you so much for helping me. Yay! I'm going to do one with yellow. Okay, let me put it all the way in again. Yeah. Wow. And on that squiggly was yellow paint. 
know how to make messes. Yeah. I know how to make messes. <laughs> yeah, you do. You can just be a squiggly or just a line even. That's the cool thing about art. You can just make it how you want to. Now it's a circuit. Look, it made like lines this way and then a swirly one this way and then this yellow and pink are mixing there. I'm going to kind of yeah. push it back into the paint okay. this way. What I think that will make. What if it's a cute yellow bunny tail? Just painting, painting. Here's another fun activity you can do at home and all you need is a puzzle and some painter's tape. And what you're gonna do is grab some tape, grab your puzzle piece and tape it to the wall. And we'll tape all of the pieces and then we're gonna play a puzzle rescue where we'll rescue the pieces and put them back in the puzzle. It's gonna be so much fun. Here we go. I got a rhino. Who else we've got? A zebra and a hippopotamus. Let's see what other animals we've got. An elephant. Stomp, 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 stomp. And an alligator. Chomp, 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 chomp. A giraffe, hello. I've got an ostrich. Here we go. And I have one last piece left. And it's a line going, Arr! And the pieces say, hello, will you help? rescue us and put us back in the puzzle? Sure, we'd love to help. First, I'll drink some of my water, says baby. Great job drinking your water. And now let's help rescue the puzzle pieces. Are you ready? All right, first, how about we get somebody who goes stomp, stomp, stomp. Who goes stomp, stomp, stomp? An elephant? Here's an elephant. We're gonna peel the tape. Peel. Great job. We'll take the tape off and let's find the puzzle piece. Let's see. Do you see the part with the elephant? Right here. Let's put it in. Here we go. Elephant. Let's get the rest of the pieces. All right. Let's see if we can find somebody with a long neck. Who's got a long neck? Oh, giraffe, giraffe, that's right. Here it is, let's peel it. And we'll put it back in our puzzle. Let's find the spot, let's find the spot. Do you see the spot with the giraffe? Right here, let's put it in. All right, let's see who's next. Ooh, I peeled an alligator, I peeled an alligator. Great job, let's put it back in the puzzle. Mm, oh, here it is, clink. We've got two pieces left. Oh, I see a rhino. Here we go, rhino, put you back in. And one last piece with a zebra. Hi, zebra. Let's put you back in. All right, that was really fun. Let's make this really cute tulip craft activity together. And we'll need a fork to make the stamps of the flowers and some paint. Let's do it together. First, I'll grab some paint so we can use the fork to stamp it. And let's use fun colors. How about pink? Ooh, yellow. Let's see. Ooh, orange. How about some purple? And, ooh, how about some red? That's going to be so pretty. All right, now let's stamp some tulips together. Let's 
do our fun tulip activity, I'll use a fork and kind of stamp it into the paint. First, let's do yellow. And we'll go press it on, press it on. Now, how about orange? And we'll press it on. Let's do another one right here. Next, ooh, let's do pink. And I'll press it on. Let's do another one over here. Ooh, how about some red tulips? And we'll press it on. And we'll press one on over here. And ooh, how about purple? Let's see, let's make a cute purple one right here. And right here, and maybe one more over here. Let's see, I feel like we need maybe one more right here for fun. That's really cute. Then, let's see, how about we add some green stems. One over here. Another one. Something else we could do, we could even add a little yellow sun over here. I'll do a circle with some sun rays coming out. Line, line, line. And what if we add couple of little clouds. They're usually white, but we'll use blue to kind of outline them. And look at this beautiful picture we made. Let's count how many tulips we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Wow, we made 12 beautiful tulip flowers together. Now you can hang this picture up or give it to someone as a card. Thanks for painting with me. If you press this fork in the paint and then set it down in the paper and press it down, lift it up, made a flower. You wanna do it again? Um, and you have that stem. Oh yeah, I, I just used a paintbrush. Cute stem, my friend. Smash in blue. Smash. I just smashed it in blue. Nice. Maybe it over here. Mm. There's so many flowers. That's cute. All around, all around. I made a portrait face. This is the only part. <laughs> <laughs> That's so silly. Here's a fun activity you can do at home and all you need are some triangles. I have one, two, and three to make a little Christmas tree. And if you have these little dot circle stickers, you can pretend they're ornaments or Christmas lights and then use them to decorate. Let's do it together. How about we do a blue one over here and a fun purple one right here. I see a pink one. Let's put it, I can put it together and I'll stick our triangles together. A cute yellow one. And you can decorate your own Christmas tree however you'd like and make fun designs and create an awesome picture. You can even put it on a card and then give that card to somebody for Christmas. All right, look at our beautiful Christmas tree. Sometimes stickers can be hard to peel and they can be kind of tricky. But if you practice, you'll get better and better and they'll get easier and easier. Here we go. How about this beautiful tree we made together? Wow, how wonderful. Hopefully Mother geared me in a pie. Yeah, well you know what the kitten said? They said, can you help us find the mittens? We were getting all the stuff from Mother's dear pie, but we lost our mittens. I'm trying to make this decorating. 
I think that's so cute. Let's do a fun activity together and you can ask your grown up for help. You can cut out two friends and some clothes for them and we'll play dress up. Let's do it. Let's play dress up. I've got two friends. They each have two eyes. What else do we have on our face? How about our nose? Let's do a cute nose here and a cute nose here. And what about our mouth? Let's draw a cute mouth here and a cute mouth here. Wow, how cute. All right, let's help our friends get dressed. First, this friend says, oh, I would like a shirt, please. Let's see, I've got a yellow, black, or purple shirt. Let's go with, hmm, this friend says, I would like a purple shirt, please. You see the purple shirt? Yeah, right here. Let's put it on. Great job. Now, how about some, we can do shorts or pants. What do you think? Friend says, ooh, mm, it's a little warm out, so maybe some shorts. All right, let's see what kind of shorts we have. I have purple, pink, blue, or red. What kind of shorts would you like to wear today? Friend says, ooh, I would like some blue shorts. Do you see the blue shorts? Yeah, right here. Let's put them on. I'll move these out of the way. Now we've got some shoes. I have a pair of red shoes, pink shoes, purple shoes, or blue shoes. This friend says, I would like some shoes to match my shirt. Which shoes match the shirt? The purple ones? That's right, let's put them on. We put our shoes on our feet. Here we go. Oh wow, this friend looks really great. This friend says, I would like a dress. I have a red dress, pink dress, yellow with orange or orange dress. Which one would you like? Oh, I would love to wear the pink dress with the blue bottom. Do you see that one? Yeah, right here. Here you go. And what kind of shoes would you like? Oh, I would like some pink shoes, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh wow, our friends look so great. They're ready to go and play. Thank you for helping me. Let's do a really fun activity with some letters and we'll use pom-poms and some clothespins to do some stamping with the paint. Let's do it together, come on. Here's another fun activity you can do with pom-poms and the clothes pins. And if you pinch the pom-pom in the clothespin and dip, 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 dip it in some paint, you can then stamp it on a piece of paper. Wow! And we got the letter A. How fun. Oh, let's do it again. And we'll use some purple paint. I'll dot, 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 dot. A line down. And another line around. I wonder if we do one more. That's the letter B. How fun. Let's do it one more time. Let's do it with a green piece of paper. How about we use some red? And we'll make a line go all the way around, all the way around, all the way around, all the way around, all the way around. And we made the letter C. How fun. 
Yeah! Mom, I have a fun activity. Okay, what's your activity? Tell me. Watch. Do a pain. Okay. Do a little letter. What letter would you like? Y. Letter Y? Mm -hmm. Okay. Why? All right, what's your activity? What are you thinking? Do a little paint okay. and then do. Oh, wow. Girl. You just wrote a letter Y. You can write. Do you want to do another letter? Yes. Okay. What color paper would you like? I would like this color. Bring it over, and then what letter are you thinking? Z. Good letter. Mommy, we do yellow. Ooh, okay. And then do, watch this. Let me see. Ooh. Ooh. I'm, I'm trying to write down my own letter. Okay, do you want a new piece of paper? Yes. This one I'm gonna take. All right, grab it. Let's write some. What, what kind of letters do you want to write? I'm gonna write X. Okay. X okay. is a really good letter. Watch this. Let me see. Dip it in purple paint. Okay. And then stamp it down. Oh, I like that. We're gonna get three pom poms. Okay. And then put them in all paints. Wow. What monsters? We're gonna make monsters. So, I, I, mouth. Dip, dip, dip. Let's do this fun activity together, and all you need is a muffin pan and some paint. Let's do it together. Come on. Here's a fun activity you can do with a muffin pan. I flipped it upside down, and let's use the color red to paint these circles. And let's turn it over and we're gonna stamp it onto a piece of paper. Stamp. Let's add a little stem and they'll keep, look like cute little apples. Maybe we can give them cute little green leaves. Let's count our apples together. One, two, three. Six. We made six apples together. Great job. Let's flip this pan and then stamp it down. And then lift it up. Apples. You made an apple tree. Want to stamp it again and make more apples? I'm going to do a stems. Okay. <laughs> and then I'll show stems. you another little fun part. Oh, I like that. Another fun activity you can do is some paint stamping, but with some food items. We're gonna use the leftover pieces. So if you have leftover lettuce, or we'll cut off this chunk so it'll be leftover of onion. I also have an apple and a potato, and we'll just use pieces of them to stamp really cool designs. It's gonna be so much fun. Let's do it together. Let's do some really fun stamping with our leftover food items. First, let's do the lettuce. And I'll grab a paintbrush. And how about we use the color pink to paint on top of it. And now let's stamp it on together, ready? We're gonna flip it and press down, press. Wow, and it made a really cute flower. Let's see, let's do one more up here. Press. Oh, let's see if we add a little red to it. Maybe like a pink or red kind of flower. Press. Wow, really cool. And you know what? Let's try this onion as well. Oh, and how about we do yellow? Okay, ready? We're gonna flip it and press. Wow, that's cool. Let's do another one up here. Press. Wow. How awesome.
awesome. Let's try purple on this potato. P -p Ooh, purple. Starts on letter P. P -p purple. And potato starts on P. -p potato. How silly. All right, let's stamp this one on. Wow, fun. Let's do another one up here. How cool. You know what? This apple reminds me of a pumpkin this way. Let's grab a paintbrush and a little bit of orange. And let's paint it orange and see if we can stamp some pumpkins. Ooh, okay, that's just fun. And you know what we could do? Let's use a thin brush and a little bit of green and we can draw stems from these flowers and make it a bouquet. And you know what? I think if we use these potato halves, we could even stamp some leaves. Let's give it a try. Ooh, this is very cute. Look at this beautiful picture we made together. Thank you so much. Yeah! That's good. Mommy, an apple. Oh, okay. What color? Purple. I'm going to stamp it. Go ahead. Is this you apple? stuck? Yes. Yeah. Go ahead and stamp it. Is it me? Is it me where I just picked up an apple? Maybe. Whoa. Is that is an apple seed? A little bit. Almost like a purple apple, right? But I'm going to do it. A orange with yellow with purple with blue with pink. Okay, that's going to be very cool. Nice. Mommy, I wonder if we can just get some paint on here and roll it out Let's see on it. here. Yeah. Then dip a fruit in this paint, then dip it out and then stamp it in here. Oh my gosh, I love it. Another fun activity you can do with these stickers and sticks is a little matching puzzle. Let's see, and we'll put the stickers right between these sticks. your own puzzles that you created and you can mix them up and then try to match them. Let's see. Did these go together? That looks a little off. Maybe we can match this one. Here we go. That matches. We did it. And let's see if we can figure this one out. Maybe if I turn it. Hey, we did it. Thank you for helping me. Here's a fun little reindeer craft you can do at home and all you need is a candy cane, some red pom-poms for a nose, googly eyes, and some brown pipe cleaners for antlers. Let's make it together. First, we'll use a little sticky and add this little red pom-pom as a cute nose for a little reindeer. Let's see. We'll put it right at the tip, boop. Right at the tip of the nose, boop. And then let's add two eyes. And then how about some antlers? I'll wrap the pipe cleaner around. There we go. And then let's spin them, spin them. So they're fun and curly. I'll wrap it around my finger and then let go and curl up those antlers. <gasps> Look at this little reindeer, it says, hello. <gasps> hello, little reindeer. Hello, little reindeer. Merry Christmas. Oh, look, when I put two candy canes together, it makes a little heart. A little reindeer kiss. Here's a little reindeer kiss for you. 
Uh, okay, here's a candy cane. Okay, here, I'll peel this little sticky off for you, and you can put this on the end. That's cute. And then here's one eye. Whoa. Yeah. I can see. No, I can go see. And then I'll wrap this around. And these could be the little antlers. I'll twirl them, twirl them like this. Oh, hello! Um, a friend. Hello, so nice to meet you, friend. Well, we love your antlers. I also like the ones that you have. Thank you so much for saying that. Did you see the snowman and all of the nutcrackers? Yeah. How fun. I want some music. Oh, let's turn on some music. Hey, Mr. Snowman, do you know how to play your trumpet? Yeah. That's beautiful. <gasps> there's an, one more candy cane, and there's going to be another one. Should we friend. make one more? Yeah. I want another friend. You do, Reindeer? Here, we can make another one. Here's another friend. Okay, where should we stick this nose? You want to do it? Yeah. Kind of like in the middle. Okay, I have one eye. I'll stick him on the side. Oh, Here, I'll put these around. Mommy, I'm gonna do this Fine. other one. Go ahead, go ahead. Did you twirl that all on your own? Yeah. <gasps> Whoa, hello, other reindeer. I We're so have. happy you're here. We all jump around. Yay! Reindeer hopping, reindeer hopping! <laughs> Let's do a really fun activity together. All you need is some rubber bands. some paint and a little pan. Let's do it together. Come on. Here's another fun activity you can do. And all you need is a little pan, put some paper in it, and you wanna stretch the rubber bands all the way around. All right, now that we have all of the rubber bands on, let's see how many we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can use as many as you'd like, and then we're gonna add paint onto the rubber band. It's gonna be so silly. I'll add a little purple. All right, now that we've got the paint on our rubber bands, we're just gonna strum it like a fun guitar. Ready? Strum. Whoa, do you see that? <gasps> let's do orange, strum, whoa. Let's do red, wow. How about green one? <gasps> and blue, wow. And you can just keep strumming them, make a really pretty painting. And a really pretty song. Thanks for painting with me. You just pull them up and then let them go. Nice. Yes. You made like a colored guitar. Mom, well, watch this. Hmm. It's with paint. It's a new uh, paint guitar. I got to go to this side. Okay. Get a painting brush. Okay. The paint paint. I'm going to paint and paint and then I'm going to get a little paint uh -huh. and then paint, paint on here. I love it. I'm going to strum it down. Okay. I'm going to, I'm excited to see what it does with the mixed color strumming. Okay. I'm going to go. It's pushing everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You paint these rubber bands. I'm gonna strum them down. Okay, let's do it. I'll use your paint. Paint with my paint. I'll blow backwards and this way and this way and this way. Mm -hmm. Oh no, no. Well, another fun activity you can do with these stickers and sticks is a little matching puzzle.
make this really cool tree together, all you need is some paint, some leaves, and a little bit of glue. Let's do it together. Come on. First, I'll grab a little brown paint, and I'll make a tree trunk. And then we'll make some branches. All right. Next, we'll grab our leaves. Put a little glue and stick it on. Look at this beautiful tree we made together. Thanks for helping me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can even do more. Oh, yeah, yeah, leaves all around, all around, all around, and the leaves were all around. And on that tree, there was some leaves. <laughs> the cutest leaves. No, baby, over here. That you ever did see. <laughs> Who's gonna put leaves all around, all around? I need some help. <laughs> and on that tree, it's... there was more leaves. <laughs> The cutest leaves whoosh, whoosh, that we ever did leave. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, put this one on. 